The first full-color images obtained by the brand new Euclid Space Telescope have been released, and they are spectacular. Never before has a telescope been able to produce such razor-sharp astronomical images over such a huge area of the sky or to peer so far into the distant universe. These first photos demonstrate Euclid's incredible capacity to generate the most comprehensive 3D map of the universe to date. But what makes the Euclid Space Telescope so unique? What makes it unique in comparison to the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope? And what makes these five images captured by Euclid from the brink of darkness so unique? Let's go over them one by one. Hello and welcome to Z. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell to make sure you don't miss any of our daily videos. First up is this incredible view of the Perseus Galaxy Cluster. The Perseus Cluster, located around 240 million light-years away, is one of the most massive galaxy clusters. This cluster's galaxies are represented by around 1,000 galaxies in Euclid's perspective. What's more amazing is the presence of nearly 100,000 other galaxies in the background. Most of these galaxies are being observed for the first time thanks to Euclid's revolutionary imaging capabilities. Light from some of these distant galaxies has also traveled over 10 billion years to reach us. Such an image is a treasure trove for an astronomer, revealing many secrets of the cosmos. To begin with, the presence of a galaxy cluster like Perseus, which houses hundreds of galaxies held together by gravity is only possible if dark matter plays an important part in holding it together. We can learn about the role of dark matter in the evolution of the universe by capturing galaxy clusters like Perseus and investigating the distribution and forms of galaxies inside them. Astronomers are mainly interested in the tiny galaxies in the cluster that have never been observed before. The tiny, dim galaxies are dwarf galaxies which should be abundant yet are unusually uncommon, according to the theoretical forecast. The high-quality photos of Euclid can lead us to a solution to the dwarf galaxy conundrum. Astronomers are also drawn to the forms of the galaxies in the background and inside the cluster. The form distortions are induced by the weak lensing effect caused by dark matter in and around the cluster. Understanding the distribution of dark matter is aided by weak lensing analysis. By investigating weak lensing, at least 50,000 galaxies observed in this image can be utilized to map the distribution of dark matter. Let's take a closer look at the amazing spiral galaxy IC 342, which is about 11 million light-years away from Earth. It is visible in the sky behind the Milky Way band. The active, gas-rich, and dusty disk of our own galaxy obscures our direct view of this magnificent spiral. However, we can see through the dust and investigate the light released by the stars that dominate the galaxy's mass and brightness thanks to the near-infrared instrument on board Euclid. Notably, this is not the first time IC-342 has been photographed. Using its Wide Field Camera 3, NASA's Hubble Space Telescope managed to overcome the obstacles and picture this galaxy in 2017. What distinguishes this image is Euclid's capacity to zoom in on individual stars and star clusters and extract facts about their formation process and evolutionary history over the lifetime of the galaxy. Previous Hubble Space Telescope photos just could not achieve this degree of detail. Because IC342 is a spiral galaxy studying it is analogous to studying our own galaxy. Now let's turn our attention to the most stunning image captured by Euclid, the Horsehead Nebula. It is the nearest big star-forming zone to Earth, around 1375 light-years away. Its odd shape, like a horse's head, has earned it a unique nickname. The Horsehead Nebula is a popular target for astrophotography. However, astronomers are fascinated by it because the radiation from the brilliant star Sigma Orionis, which is located just above the nebula and outside Euclid's field of vision in this photograph, is stimulating star formation under certain conditions. The ultraviolet radiation from Sigma Orionis illuminates the nebulous clouds behind the horsehead, which contrasts sharply with the horsehead's dense, dark clouds, which block away the lighting. 
The Horsehead Nebula's intriguing look is due to the interplay of light and shadow. Sigma Orionis is one of several hundred stars in an open star cluster. While the Gaia mission successfully found many more cluster members, not all of them have been photographed. This image has also resulted in the finding of new candidate stars, brown dwarfs, and planetary mass objects in the neighborhood. Scientists want to obtain a detailed image of the open cluster using Euclid's superior capabilities. The next stunning image is of the irregular galaxy NGC 6822, which is only 1.6 million light-years away from us. It is a member of the same galaxy cluster as the Milky Way, known as the Local Group. While other telescopes had previously observed NGC 6822, Euclid made history by taking the first high-resolution photograph of this galaxy and its surrounds in under one hour of exposure time. The low quantity of atoms other than hydrogen and helium distinguishes NGC 6822. A galaxy's metallicity, or the presence of heavier elements, tends to grow with its evolution in astrophysics. This trend occurs as first-generation stars complete their life cycles, enriching the chemical composition of the galaxy. Thus, researching metal-poor galaxies like NGC 6822 provides vital insights into the galactic development of the early cosmos. The fifth and final image is of NGC 6397, the second nearest globular cluster to Earth. Globular clusters are among the universe's earliest structures. They hold a wealth of knowledge on the genesis and evolution of host galaxies. Because of the great concentration of stars, the cores of globular clusters are brilliant. These stars outshine the low-mass, feeble stars on the outskirts, which are there due to earlier interactions with the galaxy. Because dim stars have a history of interactions with the galaxy, measuring their light is critical. While Hubble requires more time to scan fainter stars while Gaia tracks globular cluster movements without revealing much about the faint stars, Euclid's wide field of view allows it to record the complete globular cluster in just one hour of observation. The existence or absence of dim stars near the outskirts of globular clusters has important consequences for our knowledge of the dispersion of dark matter. If there are no tidal tails of feeble stars, this could imply that a dark matter halo prevents the outer stars from escaping during interactions. However this scenario is thought to be exceedingly unlikely because dark matter halos are more typically linked with bigger structures, such as dwarf galaxies and galaxies, rather than compact globular clusters. The European Space Agency conceived and developed the Euclid spacecraft with assistance from NASA. Its major aim is to map the universe in three dimensions, with time serving as the third. This huge project entails observing billions of galaxies from as far away as 10 billion light-years distant with the goal of eventually constructing a comprehensive map that depicts the cosmic evolution over the universe's lifespan. Euclid intends to cover one-third of the sky in order to reveal the dark universe. Dark energy and dark matter are the two unknown elements that govern the cosmos. They account for 95% of the observable universe, according to the current cosmological model. Euclid will disclose the structural development and expansion of the cosmos by watching the evolving cosmos. Astronomers hope to learn more about the true nature of dark energy, dark matter and gravity by doing so. Euclid will attempt to answer four essential questions. What exactly are dark matter and dark energy? What is the mechanism of structure building and the cosmic web's history? Is the Hubble tension or seeming discrepancy in the pace of expansion of the cosmos a genuine phenomenon? Finally, do we have a fault in our knowledge of gravity? It's worth noting that Euclid's scientific focus differs from that of other well-known space observatories such as the James Webb Space Telescope. Webb's primary goal is to research the early universe, whereas Euclid's goal is to investigate dark energy and dark matter. Furthermore, although Webb was built to focus on a smaller fraction of the sky with the finest possible resolution, Euclid is designed to optimize and cover broad parts of the sky much faster. 
Finally, Webb zooms in on specific objects in the early cosmos, whereas Euclid takes broad photographs of the sky that span a vast portion of it. Euclid, like Webb's near-infrared camera or NIR cam, will measure light at near-infrared wavelengths, but its observing area of the sky is 100 times larger. As a result, Euclid's large field of view observations will provide prospective targets for JWST and other observatories. These photographs from the Euclid Space Telescope not only demonstrate its technological brilliance, but they also represent a substantial advance in our knowledge of the universe, its composition and development. Alright folks, that is all for this video, thanks for watching. What are your opinions regarding this? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below and remember to like, share and subscribe to Z.